To start the program, type in temp controller GUI. Then you will have to select the right communication port. In this case, it's COM9. After you do this, the program will open and you will be able to see the GUI. After the GUI loads, you'll be able to see all the different features. There's ramp features, you can change the PID settings, you can change the valve control, and you can change the actions. First, we're going to make a new ramp, and we want to do one from 0 to 10 seconds and go to 90 degrees. Then we will set up a, continue setting up the, the ramp function with a variety of different slopes. After that, we will change the PID settings to match our function. You can change the proportional band, the integral time, the derivative time, and of course the cycle time. Select read all or set all, and then add our last ramp function parameter. After this, the ramp function is set up, PID settings are set, and all we have to do is select start. After you click start, the two graphs to the left of the settings will start to move and it will start filling in. The top ramp is the theoretical ramp and the bottom is what the actual temperature reads. To the top right of the screen, you can see the picture in picture of the, what the actual temperature controller reads. You can see that as the temperature gets higher, the set value changes to get higher too.